Two ferocious warriors. Two bricks looking to rule the shower. But which is stronger, a spider or a blueberry? Well, today we're pitting these two alpha bricks against each other in a duel to the death. No ties, no draws, no nonsense, no mercy. Eww, man. Welcome to the Frick Cast and to Dr. Squatch versus Sudsy Bear. Today, the heroic Spidey Suds takes on the legendary Blueberries and Cream. Now, I of course have individual soap guides for both of these bricks, so if you want a more in depth breakdown of either of these bars, go check those out. In this video, we're going to see which is the superior brick. Now, these may seem like an odd matchup at first glance, but these boys have a lot more in common than you may think. Both are blue, feel very similar to use, and of course, both are rocking with berry scents. These are probably the top two berry scented bricks Sudsy and Squatch have. So with that, let the battle begin. Round one, fight. One thing you'll notice quickly when comparing Sudsy Bear bars to Squatch bars is that Sudsy usually excels in this area as they slam their bricks full of fantastic and unique ingredients. And the blueberries and cream is one of the best to illustrate this. With blueberries, goat's milk, heavy cream, honey, and chia seeds, the long list of ingredients speaks for itself. This is one of the most stacked lineups in a brick. Now as for the spidey suds, this bar also illustrates what Squatch excels at when it comes to unique ingredients, and that is their creativity. Their ability to find ingredients that really fit with the theme of their bar. We'll talk more about that later, but the ones featured here, such as red spiderling, vegan silk extract, and blue poppy seeds, are not just fun and gimmicky, they are also great ingredients. Still, it's hard to compare the ingredient list of both of these and not say the blueberry boy comes out on top. There's just so much more here. Round 1 goes to the blueberries and cream. Round 2, fight! The scents of these bricks are probably what they have in common the most, and that's because they're both essentially berry ones, although they certainly are not the same. The blueberry boy is rocking with a strong blueberry scent. There's not really any cream or vanilla smell to it, instead it's more of a fruity, sour, almost candy-like one. It's a delicious scent that makes you want to take a bite out of the bar. While the Blueberry Boy is a more straightforward smell, the Spider Boy is a little more complicated. Its main notes are berry, but there's a lot more going on in the background. There's some earthiness, muskiness, and almost cologne smell to it at times. I've noticed that this bar can smell very different at times. Sometimes I get a cheap body wash type of smell from it. Sometimes it's a refreshing berry scent. Sometimes it's a combination. Overall, the Spider Boy scent is a decent one, even if not one of the best. I've seen people hate the Blueberry Boy scent for its fruitiness and the Spider Boy for its musky undertones, but overall I think the powerful blueberry scent of the Sudsy Brick just makes for a much more pleasant smell. Round 2 goes to the Blueberries and Cream. Round 3 Fight! Of course, what good is a brick if it doesn't perform when called upon in the shower? And this area is where both bricks feel surprisingly similar to each other. Both feature ingredients geared towards reducing signs of aging, as well as repairing and protecting skin. The Blueberry Boy is one that moisturizes, nourishes, and rejuvenates skin. It does a bit of everything, and the chia seeds give it a surprising amount of grit, more than you may expect. The Spider Boy is also a brick that moisturizes, nourishes, and rejuvenates skin. It also has a nice amount of grit to it, thanks to the blue poppy seeds. Both of these bars feel very similar in the shower. They're both light to medium grit bricks that restore and rejuvenate skin, fight against a number of skin ailments, and leave skin feeling healthy, clean, and hydrated. Neither of these are the absolute best of the best from their respective companies, in my opinion, but both feel great to use. In the end, though, I think the Blueberry Boy once again just edges out the Spider Boy. I think it feels just a bit better to use, and paired with its scent, it's much more refreshing. Round 3 goes to the Blueberries and Cream. Round 4. Fight! Both of these bars have cool but very different themes they are going for. The Blueberries and Cream is just what it sounds like. It puts its money where its mouth is, with several blueberry-related ingredients, goat's milk, and heavy cream. The bar is literally what it says it is, and the scent perfectly fits as it is just straight-up blueberry. 
Visually, the bar is nifty looking, blue with seeds in it. It looks the part. The package is just a standard Sudsy Bear one. I got the old fashioned wrap instead of the box. I'm not sure if this one comes in a box yet or not, but it looks like a nice small batch soup. The Spider Boy on the other hand is of course a Spider-Man brick. It's the bar's main selling point. And while it may seem like just a gimmick to sell a bar of soup, the brick actually does a great job of fitting the Spider-Man theme. The unique ingredients are creative and of course spider themed, such as red spiderling and silk. Really, this is what Squatch is best at. They take a cool theme and pair it with interesting ingredients and make a creative, fun brick that is still a solid one even without the gimmick. The earthy berry scent is the one I think fits in. I don't know what else they could have done to make it fit the Spider-Man theme instead. Visually, the bar is red and blue, going for the amazing Spider-Man colors. And the box is similar in that regard, with a unique limited time package that features the Spider-Boy himself on the front, as well as a red and blue Spider-Man theme across the box. Both do a great job of fitting their respective themes. To Sudsy's credit, they advertised a blueberries and cream bar and that's exactly what you're getting. Scent-wise and ingredients-wise, it fits that theme perfectly. And to Squatch's credit, they found relevant spider-themed ingredients and still made a good bar. It's hard to deny this round to the Spidey Suds because, well, it's a Spider-Man bar. Finish him! After four rounds, we do have a clear winner, the Blueberries and Cream. Although the Blueberry Boy is easily the superior brick in my opinion, I don't think the Spidey Suds is a bad bar by any means. These bricks are actually very similar, and which one you think is better comes down to preference. The Blueberry Boy has more of a sour, fruity berry scent, while the Spider Boy has more of an earthy cologne type of berry scent. Both feel surprisingly similar as well when used, as the Spidey Suds holds its own in the shower even against the Blueberry Juggernaut. In the end though, the Spidey Suds is carried by its Spider-Man theme, and the brick is designed with that in mind. The Blueberries and Cream on the other hand just does everything so well, if not great, that I think it's hard to beat. That's only my opinion though, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments. Which boy do you think wins the Battle of the Berry Bricks? Let me know what you think of these two bars, and let me know which two you'd like to see pitted against each other next time. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah, man!